Hi, I'm Lorna Radford, Managing Director of Enkels Developments and Technical Advisor for Enkels Cosmetics Global, Asia and Korea. Hi, I'm Ra uh, Director of Royal Cosmetics and R&D Tour Leader for Ink Cosmetics Asia and Global. Welcome to episode three of our Formulation Friday series. And today we're going to talk about oily skin. Oily skin can vary from person to person. People who suffer with oily skin have reported feelings of stress and low self-esteem. When skin is oily, facial pores look larger and skin may seem greasy and unclean. Oily skin occurs when the skin secretes excess sebum. Sebum is produced by the sebaceous glands in the dermis layer of the skin. There can be anywhere from 2,500 to 6,000 sebaceous glands per square inch, depending on the location of these glands. While most sebaceous glands are connected to a hair follicle, some open up directly to the surface of the skin. Sebaceous glands work together with the sweat producing ecrine glands to regulate body temperature. Sebum is a mixture of complex lipids which work synergistically to moisturize the skin and defend the body. Squalene and wax esters create a protective barrier on the surface of the skin that helps to seal in moisture and electrolytes, whilst hydrolyzed triglycerides and free fatty acids act as antimicrobial agents to keep out potentially harmful microbes and defend against infection. Generally, the oily skin cycle is induced by the environment and can be split into seven stages. Pollution and sun-induced squalene oxidation, toxin generation, inflammation, sebocyte differentiation, sebum production, sebum accumulation, and oily skin with poor sebum quality. We as formulators are fortunate enough to have a good range of ingredients at our disposal, which help to regulate sebum production and reduce the appearance of oily skin whilst promoting healthy skin. Let's take a look at some of the ingredients you may consider adding. Shiny appearance and oiliness of skin are a main concern amongst the social media driven generation of millennials. IFF Lucas Mayer have developed Oilless City with them in mind. Oilless City was derived from the queen of the lemon herbs found in the dense Australian rainforest, the lemon myrtle. Traditionally, it was very popular in Australia as a garden plant, but also used to calm insect bites, allergies and infections. During blooming season, the lemon myrtle is covered with pretty white flowers and imparts a beautiful lemon scent. Oilless City demonstrated a potential to reduce squalene and glycerides on oily skin, thus rebalancing the sebum composition. A multi-ethnicity clinical study was performed to evaluate the impact of oil-less city on sebum variation and shininess of millennial skin. Knowing that total sebum content varies from one ethnic group to another, results were compiled individually to show oil-less city's impact on each one. After 28 days of cream application, the sebum lipidomic profile showed a maximum decrease of 34%, indicating that it significantly reduces the skin sebum content. Also, picture assessments indicated that oilless city reduced shiny skin by 5% across all ethnic groups. Here's why you should incorporate oilless city into your formulations. It decreases inflammation, reduces surface sebum accumulation, rebalances sebum content and reduces oily skin and shiny appearance. Let's go to Lorna in the lab for more on this ingredient. Oilless City is supplied as a water soluble extract in glycerin and in its pure form it has a pleasant citrus smell. Here I'm adding 2% which is a recommended level to water and even at 2% it will give a faint citrus scent to the formulation base if the base is odourless. Lucas Meyer recommends adding oilless city at below 40 degrees, like a lot of other actives, so we'd recommend adding it in the cool down phase of hot process emulsions. Its optimal pH is between pH 4 and pH 8. 
A common misconception amongst people with oily skin is that they are not required to moisturize it. However, this really isn't true. It is important to use a moisturizer to ensure that skin does not overproduce sebum. When a moisturizer is used, the skin is encouraged to balance sebum production and balance is key in maintaining healthy glowing skin. Therefore, you may consider using this ingredient by Codif in your formulations. Wacapamp is obtained from the fertile bases of algae. These fertile bases, also known as makabu, contain the spores that are responsible for the species' reproduction and are considered having precious rejuvenation properties. Interestingly, Codif have a cultivation program to farm algae imported from South Korea to guarantee the continuation of this species. This growing method involves entirely manual harvesting and guarantees a sustainable cultivation of good quality raw material. Our epidermis is covered by an emulsion known as the hydrolipidic film, which consists of water, sebum and lipids. It acts to lock in moisture and defend skin against non-resident bacteria. The excessive removal of the hydrolipidic film strips the epidermis of its protection. If this film fails to do its job, this will cause a skin imbalance. Wacapamp rebuilds the hydrolipidic film of the skin by promoting the synthesis of surface and epidermal lipids, which helps to rebalance sebum production and helps to also bind moisture to the skin and provide support for the skin's microbiota. Here's why you should incorporate Wacapamp into your formulations. It stimulates the synthesis of epidermal lipids, reinforces the stratum corneum, it improves water storage capacities of the dermis and offers support to the skin microbiota. Wacapamp is a green oily liquid but since the recommended usage level is only 0.1%, when you formulate this into products, it's actually unlikely to show through the final colour. The supplier has shown that this material is stable for up to four hours at 90 degrees, so it can generally be added to the hot oil phase of hot process emulsions. I'm making a hot process oil and water emulsion here. I've got my water phase and oil phase both heated up to 70 degrees. And I'm just about to add 0.1% Wacapamp into my oil phase. You can see that once the emulsion forms, the colour of the Wacapamp doesn't show through and the emulsion went together well. Codif have formulated Wacapamp into a number of different formulations and they found that generally the material is compatible with most other cosmetic ingredients. It can sometimes cause a bit of a viscosity loss in thick creams, but this can be accounted for by adding a bit more thickener to your system. Bamboo has become popular with environmentally conscious consumers because it's one of the most sustainable ingredients available. When harvested responsibly, bamboo can renew itself for generations without synthetic fertilizers, herbicides or pesticides. SpecCare BCP by SpecCan is an activated charcoal and to activate bamboo charcoal, it's ground into a fine powder and injected with steam. The activation process increases the surface area and the more surface area available, the faster the rate of adsorption, meaning that the powder is able to absorb a greater volume of sebum, bacteria, toxins and microparticles. While regular bamboo charcoal and activated charcoal have the same absorption abilities, Activated carbon has a tighter hold on the substances it absorbs. Here's why you should incorporate SpecCare BCP into your formulations. It's 100% natural and renewable. It helps to remove excess sebum. 
It effectively draws out skin impurities and it's a great alternative to plastic microbeads. The properties of the charcoal powder that you're working with depend on the pore size and the surface area of the charcoal structure. The higher the surface area is, the more that powder will be able to adsorb onto its surface. Specco BCP comes in a variety of different pore sizes and surface areas. The grade I've got here, Specco BCP5, has the smallest pore size and the highest surface area out of the standard grades that they offer. Charcoal powder is generally relatively easy to disperse into formulations either before or after emulsification. I've just tried adding different levels of Specare BCP5 to a standard oil and water emulsion and here you can see we have 0.2%, 0.5% and 1.5% of the Specare to give you an idea of the different colour effects that you can get with different levels of charcoal. Depending on skin type and with age, facial pores tend to dilate more and for longer thus secreting more sebum to the skin's surface. Refined ginger by Naulis is a natural ingredient developed to deliver the highest amount of original active plant cells. Cultivated throughout tropical Asia for its aromatic properties, this rapidly growing perennial herbaceous plant has gradually spread from east to west. Refined ginger reduces the activity of the enzyme responsible for sebum production, 5-alpha reductase. Generally, too much of this enzyme can be produced, which then results in excessive levels of dihydrotestosterone, a hormone that boosts the secretion of sebum produced in the sebaceous glands. A reduction of this enzyme means a reduction in the production of sebum. It also increases the production of elastin and supporting fibres like proteoglycan for greater firmness and elasticity, enabling pores to close more easily. Nowlis chose to study how refined ginger increased the supply of water in the epidermis from the dermis. In the extracellular matrix, the glycosaminoglycans are large acidic chains that have substantial capacity to attract water, such as hyaluronic acid. Thus, they act as a vehicle for transporting the water to the epidermis, resulting in increased hydration of the skin. Clinical test results showed that refined ginger had a mattifying effect and a reduction in pore size after 28 days at a concentration of just 0.5%. Also at a concentration of 0.5%, the panel's verdict showed that 80% of women reported tightened pores and 85% of women reported more refined skin texture. Here's why you should incorporate refined ginger into your formulations. It reduces sebum production, increases water supply to the epidermis, reduces and tightens pores and maintains the production of supporting fibres. I have a sample of refined ginger here. This is the version where the cells are dispersed in glycerin and it gives a hazy suspension. So this is recommended for use in emulsions where the system isn't clear. If you are working on a clear system, there is a version where the cells are sonicated in glycerin instead and that will allow you to get clear systems. If you're working on an oil-based formulation, there's a version available where the cells are sonicated into sunflower oil. And if you're working on a powder, there's also the 100% cell powder option as well. Thanks for joining us on today's Formulation Friday video. We hope you've enjoyed today's video and will join us again when we return with more formulation challenges. If you'd like to learn more, then you can visit me at the Formulation Lab at In Cosmetics or join one of Rua's R&D tours live on the show floor. Visit the InCosmetics website linked below to find out more.